Hi, it's Miranda Wolpert here from Welcome, and I'm going to talk to you about a, a metaphor we're exploring for thinking through what helps prevent or address anxiety and depression in youth. And the metaphor we're exploring is that of sort of cooking and recipes uh, in terms of thinking what are the really key, what are the active ingredients that really make a difference to different people in different contexts to manage their mental health. So this first slide is a, is a beautiful visualisation created by a company called Flying Object for us around trying to sort of imaginatively render this idea of active ingredients as cookery ingredients. And as you can see, they might range from things we do, such as positive activities, to thoughts and feelings we might have. And I'm going to talk through some of the ideas around this. So if we think about your kitchen store cupboard or fridge and the ingredients it might contain, and think about the different things that you use for your sort of nutrition and sustenance and be aware that some of these ingredients might actually be more at home in a medicine cabinet but actually from the point of view of what we're trying to do we're saying we don't mind whether at the moment those ingredients are seen as things that only professionals can tell you to have or that are medical or not medical we want a level playing field of any ingredient whatever it's about to be seen as things that you might draw on and make use of so, for example, some of those ingredients might be about different ways of thinking. Some of them might be about things that you do or activities or practices you take up. Some of them are things that only governments or societies can do to make available for people. And some of them we all may have a responsibility for to help others with. Now, most people have their own favourite foods or ingredients that they particularly like or that they can get hold of that they can't get hold of. And that may change with time and circumstance. And some ingredients may be more important to you than others. Some may be nice to haves or they may only work in combination with others. And of course, everyone might have their own dietary requirements. So some ingredients that might help someone might actually be harmful to other people. And that's something I think we need to be really aware of when we're looking at the science of active ingredients for addressing anxiety and depression. And as we've said, recipes can come from a range of experts and it may well be how those different active ingredients are put together that really make the difference. So there may be people that are currently seen as mental health experts, but, th but there may also be others that can offer advice and input. So recipes might also come from within communities or between friends and family. And of course, these may not be static over time. So what works at one time may not work at another. Increasingly, we wonder whether the key may be that actually people having choices between active ingredients. So rather than thinking there are going to be a small number of active ingredients that work for most people, it may be more that we need to fill people's store cupboards and their opportunities for getting a whole range or choosing from a whole range of active ingredients and then finding the right combination that works for them in any given circumstance.